Well, I think Blitz Armored Pants here. How's it going? Have a review for you tonight, or sort of an opinion piece, or some shit like that, anyway. So, the Haffin is in the shops now, it's a new tank. Um, but I know a lot of other YouTubers have done videos about it and all that, but like, I've, it's come up on um, my um, Facebook page, and a lot of people have PM me that. Um, is the Haffin worth getting? And I think it's more a fundamental question. If you don't have the Haffin or any of the Valkyrie tanks, um, it's quite similar to the Edelweiss, so would it be better than the Edelweiss, or which would you prefer? So let's have a look at both, shall we? So let's have a look at the Hafen here first. So the Hafen is obviously one of those fantasy tanks, and um, but you know, if that doesn't make any difference to me, it's available, so it's a tank in the game, right? So that's all that, that's all that matters to me. So uh, look at let's have a look at its DPM there. So it's a uh, 2.4. 6 dpm 2.46 k dpm um i think that um its penetration is not great it only has an 82 millimeter gun so the penetration isn't great right if you're in tier 7 or in your not up tiered it's gonna be fine but if you're up tiered with that pen it's gonna be a bit of a problem i think so that's why i would uh, pick calibrated shells on it and i'd pick the supercharge as well and um I think you just need to up the penetration there because you see even when you go to APCR the pen isn't that great and at the HG what well, you're talking about 50 mil of um, uh, pen so basically you're talking about rims or if you're not up to some of the some of the uh, tier 6 and maybe some of the tier 7 light tanks and that's more or less it so you need your AP and your APCR for everything else it has an interesting armor profile, it has a spaced armor on the side and, and it has a um, very strong gun mantle and head on it is going to be difficult to penetrate you know it's going to be like a year old nun with a vow celibacy very difficult to penetrate so that's the Haffen uh, it sort of sounds a bit Germanish doesn't it you know you have a nine beer, you have a nine gossip beer but might find um, but um, that's because it's one of those Valkyrie tanks and Valkyrie is German, isn't it? It's, well, it's sort of Norse mythology, Germanic mythology, isn't it? But let's let's not digress into intellectual stuff. Um, so now we'll have to look at the Edelweiss, also German, um, which is the flower that grows in the mountains. And actually, um, it's a flower that German paratroopers used to have to used to have to to pick one in the high up in the Alps to qualify as paratroopers. Uh, so read that and band brothers. So, or saw and band of brothers one the other. I read it and seen it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So let's have a look at the Edelweiss. Um, the Edelweiss is a tank we've had um, longer because it's been out, uh, so it's actually its year anniversary uh, this week. The Edelweiss frontal armor is not that um, not as good, but it is very difficult to penetrate, especially if you're not up to here, it is difficult to penetrate. But it has a higher caliber gun, it has a 90mm gun, so that helps you a bit. It has slightly less DPM, but here's the thing. DPM is measured on um, actual penetrations. If you don't penetrate, obviously your DPM goes down. So those extra eight millimeters of DPM are going to help because 90 millimeters is your standard um, caliber um, medium tank in uh, tier eight and tier seven. So it is slightly better. Anyway, so that's the Edelweiss. Now let's go shopping, shall we? So as you can see now on my account, I don't have the Haffen, so I'm going to go for the old Haffen bundle there. So it's working out, was well, working out around 40 euros, something like that. Is it? So um, it is expensive, but not quite as expensive as uh, as um, some of the other tanks that have been selling recently. Some of them have been for mental prices, like the T55A, that was just fucking mental price, that was, wasn't it? I think just somebody had a fucking brain fart in war game and just decided, let's just fuck these guys up there. Anyway, so there, I bought that and I bought the T Type 62. I don't have that on that account either, so I'll do a review of the T62 soon too. Um, and actually, the Type 62 Dragon is actually a fantastic tank. Uh, so we will have a review on that coming up soon as well. But anyway, let's have a look at this tank. Let's see how we're going to set it up here. I'm um, going to go for engine accelerator and all that. And uh, let's look at the provisions. Let's look at the ammo. Uh, actually, make a balls over here. I forget to hit apply, which is good actually because I had gold set up. So I go back now in a second and set it up properly. Um, I am going to load up a serious amount of APCR on this because if you're up to here, I think you're definitely going to need it. Um, and then I'm going to change the credits and then apply. So here we go, let's have a look at the equipment. As I said, um, 
Normally, I wouldn't go for calibrated shells. I'd like to get my um, reload as quickly as possible. But I do think because of the low caliber of the gun on this, especially if you're up tiered, I think that you're going to need uh, not my standard setup, but actually I'm going to go for um, calibrated shells and supercharged instead. Uh, I think that's going to, I think it's a better way to run this tank. This is my own personal opinion, by the way, but um, I do think that that's probably a better setup in this tank just because of this, this gun I feel is lacking a bit in pen. So, uh, now we're ready to roll, so let's go. Here's the first game, first game we've ever played in it. So, let's let's take her out there. You having a laugh? You having, you having a laugh, bruv? I ain't having a fucking draft, mate. Let's go. Yeah, it's me cockney accent. You know, we used to live in London, fucking hated it. But, you know, I'm an Arsenal fan, so we have to go back occasionally. But, you know, I season take her out of the Emirates, so I go back to watch them play. But, I fucking hate going to London's terrible place. Um, yeah, anyway, I digress. So, um, Queen lives there, so I guess that's something positive, isn't it? Well, I guess if you're into royal families and all that, other shite goblins and wizards and all that. But anyway, let's see, let's go. Um, so, uh, so, you just go typical medium tank, going to go to the right here. Um, I'm asking for some help as well. So, you can see, uh, even with the calibrated shells, I'm running a five second reload, so it is pretty good rate of fire. And, um, you know, if you're not up here, the tank is not going to let you down. Um, decent enough gun there, you see, that's my first ever shot in it. And you can see that it is, I mean, kind of noob that one, I shouldn't have zoomed out. Um, but he crashed into the wall, so he gives me another opportunity there. Track him as well, and it allows the easy kill for one of my mates. So I'm going to come around the corner here, I'm going to adopt this uh, corner, top right corner position, which is good for this map. Now, there you go, you see how good the, the air front alarm is there, he bounced the shot. Um, and um, now I'm in prime position now to sort of dominate this corner. I've got a May with me too, so we're in a very good position. LTLT, LTTB is a great tank. So the two of us here, I think we can more or less push this corner. Now this Cromwell coming out here, he, he was thinking about it. Then I think he knows the two of us are here. Now these guys are backing off now, so this allows us to capture a uh, far right of this corner of the map, which basically means we're going to be able to dominate the game. So that was a strategic error from them, even though um, they were 6th and 7th tier, the shields should have head on for a while to see what's going to happen uh, before bugging out like that. But anyway, nonetheless, you know, like a Scots man when the bill comes, but you're just pissed off. So, um, we're going to shot here, oh, okay, so let's go down. Gunmen attack a rain, you mean you mean you're again, 24 p bash, that's far away from you, don't give a shit. So, as long as it wasn't, as long as they weren't attacking the old uh, dog and crow in Bristol, you know, we don't know where the hell Abaz is, but it sounds pretty far away. So, now let's have a look. How good is the gun here? Is it a uh, typical? Oh, yes, so sort of typical German gun there, you see. Lovely, lovely shot there. It's not going to let you down. We don't have so much for target this time, but, um, yeah, so there you go. You see, the gun's pretty accurate too. And obviously, with the calibrated, um, uh, uh, sorry, with the, um, Refoiled, uh, refoiled gun. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna let you down over distance. Now, definitely don't want to be coming uh, into a front-on fight with a fucking uh, Tiger Porsche. So let's get the flock out of here, and I'm just gonna push down here because um, you know you gotta pick your fights, and getting into a front armor fight with a Tiger P is not a good idea. However, um, as I'm tier 7 and this guy is tier 6, even though he's got great DPM as well, I am going to see, I'm going to fancy my chances here. So you see I was able to bounce one there, I did absorb that one, but I'm going to bounce, and then I got a little help from me, and then it's game over. So, so you can see, brawling, thanks pretty good as well for brawling, it's our, it's a rate of fire, so I was going to help you. Now I'm going to come up here and see what can I do here. Oh, oh, there you go, nice shot. So there you go, even with AP, got them in lower plates, so the tank is not, it's pretty good. Um, when we're gonna be, oh, there you go, I'm just able to bounce there, so again, as you can see, oh, and then they fucked that up. So the front of the tank is gonna bounce shots for you, and then your rate of fire is, you're gonna be able to take out um, larger tanks like that. Um, that T23, well, I don't know where he was, I didn't realise he had a bead on me, so he did some damage to me there, so... Uh, but we have this game won now, so I'm just going to take it easy. Um, well, he's coming for me, because he thinks he's got an easy kill, but you see again another bounce, so the front alarm on this tank is good. And there you go. Now, we got a little help there as well, but 
you know, you got to take your chances, you know, and you make your own looks as well as your own lemonade and all that other shit. So there you go. Now I'm going to put one more into him here. So you see the gun is quite good on range. I went for APCR just because the Tiger P, it is a it is a bounce machine, you know, so. Um, so you get checked from your unreliable friend, they tend to bounce, so we just didn't take any chances, just want to get the last bit of damage in. So there you go, almost 2k damage, your very first game in it quite like it you know it does bounce shots on the front the armor is very good and it has a nice armor profile it moves around well the gun is good if you're not up tiered but if you're up tiered i think you're gonna struggle a bit so you need abcr and that so not a bad game at all um, i have to say is my first game in it i kind of enjoyed it so yeah definitely i uh, wouldn't say no to it but anyway, let's roll out the Edelweiss. Now, I've played a few games in the Edelweiss before, but I um, haven't played it for a long time. So you can see here now I haven't uh, uh, uploaded all the equipment to that. So in terms of equity, I think I should upload the equipment in it, just so we're comparing apples and apples when we run this tank. So I'm going to run the same way. I'm going to run calibrated shells, and I'm going to run refiled gun. And then the rest is going to be exactly the same setup. I'm going to um, use the enhanced armor and all that as well. So let's see how it goes. Now, um, the Edelweiss, I think, is actually a better looking tank. Um, uh, Hafen is a. Yeah, well, they're both odd looking because they're not real tanks, but. Um, you know, I mean, they're kind of fancy tanks, but I think the Edelweiss is, I don't know, it's just a bit more attractive. Maybe it's the paint job or whatever, I don't know, but I quite like it. Um, so, I think we'll. Um, you can see here, it's actually the one year anniversary of it, which is why you have five times credits and. Uh, sorry, five times XP and twice credits. So, anyway, let's take it out for all. Just checking I'm still recording because I had a few problems with the phone recently. So, uh, here we go. Um, now, um, I tried to kind of address the thing about the fantasy tanks, right? Because a lot of people have a fucking serious bee in their bonnet about them. They don't like them at all. And they go, fucking say, I say fucking fantasy tanks, you know, I don't like them, you know, it's not real tanks. To be honest with you, I'm quite agnostic on the subject. And the way I look at it is this. You're not playing real tanks. You're not a real tank driver. It's all fucking pixelated tanks. It's all fantasy shit. It's not real life. It's all fucking ones and zeros on a server somewhere. So if you think because you drive a fucking Tiger or an IS-2 that that's real, then you, there's something fucking wrong with you. It's all fantasy shit, isn't it? Every one of them. And none of the tanks in here have the fucking same properties of the tanks that um, that were in the Second World War or whatever. And other tanks like the E100 and the Mouse uh, were only ever on blueprints and that. Some of them, like even the T25 and that, never saw the light of day. So there's a lot of fantasy tanks in there. And the end day, it's all fantasy, isn't it? I mean, you know, it amazes me, like some people who would describe this game, just kind of, well, I'm this kind of tank driver, no, I'm that kind of tank driver, not a fucking tank driver. You push your thumbs around on a fucking iPad and move around the pixelated tanks to the designated pre programmed parameters of some fucking nerd in Minsk. So you're not a tank driver. Yeah, so whether or not it's a fantasy tank or not a fantasy tank or whatever, it's, uh, it's to me, it doesn't just make any fucking differences in real fantasy tanks. It's just a game. So, you know, don't take it too seriously. And, you know, just because this tank never actually existed on Earth. No, it's just in Valkyrie or I don't know where that is, but you know, whatever. It's another planet or another realm or whatever the fuck I don't know. I'm not really a nerd, I don't know do fantasy shit. Never read a Terry Pratchett book, for example. Couldn't tell you the name of one. Have look I've read Lord of the Rings, but um never read a Terry Pratchett book or any other shit, so yeah, so I couldn't tell you. But to me, yeah, I'm just agnostic on the subject. If the tank's in the game, it's in the game and that's the end of it, you know. I I guess I'm Maybe I'm not a purist or whatever, you know, maybe I'm not a tank driver, so there you go. Anyway, uh, I digress, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so yeah, so this is another one of these fantasy Valkyrie things. Anyway, a more important point is, on this map, you do need to dominate uh, and to capture this um, this side of, of the riverbed. Because um, normally, yeah, of course it's not impossible, but it's very difficult, almost impossible to win the game if you don't. Especially if there's a lot of light tanks involved. Now you can see the Edelweiss um, does more damage per shell. Um, it doesn't have quite the same rate of fire, but its rate of fire is pretty good. And it has a very good gun. Um, um, also, sort of Germanic in the sense that it is very reliable. Um, and it won't let you down. And I kind of prefer it a bit, I have to say. Um, I do kind of prefer the Edelweiss. I, I don't know why, I don't really have a reason for it. I guess it's like, you know. Some people like Margot Robbie and some people like Taylor Swift. 
I'm not talking about acting or singing, you know what I mean, like, um, and uh, there's no real reason for it, and neither is really a bad choice, you know, so, yeah, so I wouldn't really worry about it, but I kind of slightly prefer the Ailey Boys myself, that's good for the alarm or two, it will also bounce shots, and um, doesn't have quite the same rate of fire, so I would suggest that, um, whatever your preferred type of gameplay is, um, you know, if you prefer really fast loading guns, um, that do less damage or be fair like a slower loading gun or whatever and um, but also does good damage is reliable then you know that's what i'd say to you so and um, but i kind of prefer the idle voice a little bit but i wouldn't say that either is a bad choice to be honest but if you only have the money to buy one for me i'd go for the idle voice but you know it's it's not a big deal to be honest with you i don't think you're you're gonna regret buying the half an hour the idle voice um I mean, in that particular game, I did better. I did almost 3k damage compared to 2 in the last one, but, you know, I don't think that that's more to do with the game itself than the particular tanks, you know. If I'd adopted that position at the half, I'm probably sure I would have been able to do more damage as well. So, um, as you can see, both are pretty fast tanks. They're both reliable. Uh, they both have a good rate of fire. They both have good guns. Um, but the Edelweiss has um, a bigger gun, 90mm, and I just think that that gives it a slight edge, particularly if you're up tiered, which you will be up tiered like, um, after the first few games, right? So it's just a matter of your own personal preference. Um, to my mind, um, the half a bundle is not bad value, I guess. It is a bit pricey, I think, but it's not bad value. Um, but if it was up to me and I could buy one or the other, I'd buy the Edelweiss. But if you got the money, if you got 27,000 gold, the Valkyrie Chronicles bundling at all four tanks, not bad. Because the Amos and the Lupus are not bad either, I have to say. And that gives you a nice segue into my next video, which is going to be on the Amos and the Lupus. By the way, if Amos is the name of tank, does it have a name? It's not Amos anymore, is it? There you go. It's food for that. All right. Cheers. Subscribe. Follow. All that shit. Take it easy now. Cheers, much. See you now. Bye, bye, bye.